Shalom to the good honey beard. Tuesday, May 14, 2020. It's 7.30 a.m. right now. And I am going to see whatever surplus honey that these colonies would have for me. All right, so stay tuned. Let's get to it. And if I didn't remember, you know, like and share, give that thumbs up, ring the bell icon, subscribe too. So I'm going to get myself organized here right now. Okay, so let's see that the smoker is going good. And um, I will start with this, with the bad girls, with this colony right here. Okay, so the smoker is going good now. I just need to put on my gloves and we will get cracking.
So here is the thing. Let's take a look at what that first super have. We can see that it has some neck, some seal honey in it. All right, so this look like we can we can um, take out some of it. Two frames here and two frames there. What does this super house? Okay, this one looks like it. It's much better. More seal. But of course, you know, I'll have to put you on hold a little bit or put you stand up. Stand back. Stand back a little bit and take a look at me from here. Right. Let's look at the, the brood nest. You notice how I repair this frame here? starting to do their thing already. I don't like to give them so much smoke, you know, but it seems I have no other choice. All right, so, stand up there for a minute. Let me see if I can get this frame out. Plenty drone. On both sides. Plenty pollen. So this is the pollen frame. Pollen on both sides. Very much packed. Let's see what number 10 has. Number 10 has a lot of pollen. Seal brood, a little bit of nectar, the other side seem to have similar, similar thing, ok 
okay. So we'll put it back in the same order. Of course, I knew I was coming into this colony, so I packed my smoker with orange peel as well as cashew seed. You see how the bees are responding to that? And what we have here is another frame. Emerging brood. pollen and nectar I need to check this frame to see if if they have any varroa and um, you need to come over here with me let me show you how I do it I will select these um these drone cells here and I'll just use my hive knife and cut, cut them off like that and then I'll just shake it and you notice you're not seeing anything walking around there so that means it have no varroa very good. That's all I need to know concerning the world. They're bringing in some nectar here and they're storing it. So, I have to ease them back down there gently. And in position 8, I will give them some work to do. This is another frame in which I uh, reconstruct. You notice how I did it. Use the regular bar and I add some pieces to it. So I was able to get a, a good frame. Eh? I ran out of foundation, so I had a couple pieces with which I'm going to use right now on these frames. Usually, this is not something I'm caught doing because I have my own mill, I make my own foundation, but I didn't have any crude wax to to render you see how they calm down every time they gain on they gain on bad they calm down now let's see what's going on on this side here I think I'll put you to sit down over here you, know. you can see me there I'm sure you can see me I don't want to miss out anything Position 3 has a lot of drone cells, some honey on the top, which is not the kind of thing I'm looking for. I mean that this queen looking like she wants to swarm.
Dodman. makeshift to do I want to put back a super on this colony here but I want to put the super um, with some space now so I'll have to go through what I have there and um, take all the ones that not sealed properly and put it on top of the, the brood nest so I have a little bit of work here to do where that is concerned. In the meantime, you could sit down right here and uh, keep an eye on me now. Thank you. 
Okay, let me show you what frames are, are leaving back here. Are leaving back frames like this? Because it haven't. It's not fully capped. And this one not even drawn out properly. So I'll leave back these these four frames here. And the bees will finish doing what they have to do. And I think some of the, the other box they have one or two frames that um could go in right in here as well put that one in the end just in case I would need to utilize the menu. I saw a frame here. This thing one hand is real troubling. Okay, hold on. Alright, you see this frame? If I put this frame inside here, the bees will be able to finish working it. Let's see if it has any more. You see that is what does happen when you put when you put the um so many supers. I don't usually put so much supers in. You have the bees compressed in that sense so that when I come to take out money now, I'm getting a full super of money. See, I see no more money. Rather than putting so much supers, at least this way, I'll be able to extract seal, seal honey. See what I mean? Now if I only had two supers on top of this colony, I'll be taking out seal honey instead of having to do this. I hope you could see it good. I still get accustomed to this, this new phone. Have any more inside here? It have another one. Them. Right, you see? So this is not this is not a practice that I will repeat anytime soon. Another one here. Right. So that's the case of the missing link. 300, 609, right. So we're good to go there. What I will do now is just fix these frames. Space them out correctly. put on I can now put on the triangle escape this is what I wanted to show you a little while now the bees that have inside this colony you have to make sure and give them enough room you know All right so you're putting on the triangle escape down downwards like this of course you notice I have two holes here I have to seal up one of those holes what I do with that way I guess I'll have to use this escape instead I just have a tape on it now. 
Yeah. Do I make better sense? And all these, they haven't, they haven't um, done, done too bad. Right. So sit back over here again as I manipulate and arrange myself there. What a beauty, what a beauty. You see how pretty that is? Okay, so that is being done. Now, this super you see in here, we have one super that they have to finish. I have the queen extruder there on top, the brood, the super to finish. I have the triangle escape, and I have two supers with seal honey in it to extract. So, with this triangle escape here, all the bees inside here will go down and uh, they will come out so when i come back here in the next day or two i'll be able to extract that without any problem whatsoever meaning that it wouldn't have any bees in, in those two supers to be extracted now this super here this super up on, on the top is for vent so that it won't get too hot Put on the telescopic lid, and that's it. So that's how we're doing this this extraction at this time. So I have to go through all these colonies and do the exact same thing. These two frames which have all this um, drone cells on it, I'll probably have to take it and try to get those drone cells out. So I could use back those frames somewhere else. Alright, so I'm going to I'm going to put you on pause here for a bit while I do a couple of things and I'll come back to you just now. I gotta take all my gloves to do that, but those bees gonna sting my hands, my fingers. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Okay, so let me show you this. The two frames with the drones, what I did, I destroyed them by taking the hive tool and passing it over like that. So I'm killing out all those drone cells. Now the reason why they make these drone cells is because if you notice right here, we had a piece of honeycomb. And when I say honeycomb, I mean a piece of foundation. So I only put in a strip of foundation here. And the top section, they was able to draw it out good to make normal um, worker cells. But the other, the, the other part of it, which is three quarter way, they only make drone cells on the two frames that I put in. So, this is why I don't put in strips to avoid having the bees to make out all these drone cells. So that to me is like a total waste. So I'll have to come now and put this in a colony and then maybe sometime cut it out back again or something.